Happy Half Fortnite, lads, with the new Indiana Jones game marking a milestone on PC by mandating hardware raid facing support, is the industry likely reaching a tipping point on a hardware RT? And could this be a very good thing for the PS5 Pro in the next couple of years, since it's currently the only console hardware that can hold an quote unquote RT candle to PC? Well, until Switch 2 melts our console plebeyes next summer. <laughs> um, uh, that's an interesting question, you know, continuing the play PS5 Pro um, discussion. Indiana Jones, as a game, um, uses RTGI, and yeah. on the PC, there is no option to disable it. It's there even on the low, low setting. I think based on um, the video that uh, Alex has put out, um, Xbox is using kind of lower than low RTGI settings in order to get a good resolution and um, and just to make Series S possible at all. Um, I don't know what you think about this, Tom, but, you know, I think if the technology is there, the ray tracing technology within the PC version that does scale to higher levels of, of fidelity, obviously we've got Indiana Jones coming to PlayStation 5 Pro yeah. in, in a few months. So sure, surely it makes sense that similar to like Fortnite, we're going to be seeing enhanced RT features on the Pro. Yeah, I think that's one of the, the big promises of the console, and this is one where it will definitely deliver. Uh, less of um, maybe... A you know how it scales across the settings on pc will determine how much of an impact it has for pro users uh i mean the fact it is a core part of the visual design the gi is absolutely gorgeous in that game like uh, i got to play it properly in a, a preview build and alexis obviously and john are obviously on the review for this one but it is obvious right away that every every area is built with a gi uh sort of baked in not baked in but it's like part of the visual design that it's got to be ray traced um how ps5 pro will go you know above and beyond what we're seeing on on the, the xbox consoles is you know the series x kind of remains to be seen but i'd love to see just you know the high quality version of at least on pc's high preset i think that'd be a, a nice get i don't think we're going to see path tracing in any capacity you know because that is a something that's been promised uh, but we're not, uh, I don't think it's available right now on PC. So, um, and yeah, even in the preview build, it was just not uh, available to actually try out. They were pretty adamant uh, at the event that we could not use it. So I'm very curious if any element of the path tracing could migrate its way to PS5 Pro in some capacity. I That's where... It. <laughs> If you've seen Alex's uh, comparisons of the low setting with the Xbox Series X, I think if if we just got the pro set uh, the pro running at the low setting on PC, it would be pretty great because it's a lot lot more um, uh, feature complete, I'd say, in terms of RT. Yeah. But you know, anything higher than low, obviously gravy. But low, yeah. that's pretty great. Um, Oliver, thoughts on this? I mean, obviously, it kind of makes sense that the the longer the Pro is about, the better it will be utilized and perhaps more of the PC features will be tapped into. Yeah, I mean, geez, I think with PS5 Pro, we kind of have to wait and see a little bit in terms of what emerges mm. with ray tracing on the hardware because we've seen early titles like F124, like GT7 using ray tracing in a really compelling way on the hardware, but we need to see, I think, more titles. We need to get a bit more of a, a baseline of what the Pro can do. We still don't have a full disclosure of what the architecture even is on the PlayStation 5 Pro that is enabling it to achieve a higher uh, ray tracing performance than the PS5 beyond just the improvement to uh, compute units there. Um, certainly with the PS5 Pro, I mean, it would be incredible if it had full RT. I wouldn't expect that. If it had... RT Shadows, though, I think that would be cool. Maybe that's more achievable um, because we know the game does have some big issues with shadow maps and presenting stable and coherent looking shadows across a wide range of gameplay spaces. From what I've seen uh, from John, it, it does not do a great job of that. So perhaps RT Shadows could help them quite a bit, especially with multiple light sources there and interior spaces. I'm sure it would be quite nice looking. Um, I do just hope that they drop VRS for PS5 and PS5 Pro, because some of the shots that John has shared with me, um, the VRS is not really treating the consoles very nicely, especially on Series S, but even on Series X, it is an issue. It does remind me of some other titles that we've seen with various VRS implementations, 
perhaps not quite as bad as Dead Space in terms of that kind of blockiness and that artifacting, uh, but you are getting considerably reduced texture detail. That's the thing that stands out in surface detail. It does not look quite as, as it should, I would say. And then VRS plus the possibility of PSSR, uh, is that, that is less exciting to me even still. So hopefully they figure out a way to achieve good image quality in PS5 and PS5 Pro there. Um, but yeah, in general, I think being able to rely on ray trace lighting as a baseline is very, very helpful. Hardware ray tracing cards have been on the market for like six years now on the NVIDIA side, four years now on the AMD side. Um, ray tracing solves so many problems in computer graphics. Just that baseline functionality in certainly in the um, in the mass of titles that we've seen recently in Star Wars Outlaws and Avatar. That's pretty incredible. Now, of course, in those titles, they have a compute a software based fallback for their ray tracing on PC for cards that don't support the full hardware RT feature set there. So that is yeah. one way to go about things. But certainly, I think if you're mandating hardware RT capability for a title being released towards the tail end of 2024, to me, that seems perfectly reasonable. And I think it's just about just about time we kind of moved on and we started to demand that, you know, games actually push out these features, even if that does exclude the bottom end of the PC market, potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the uh, market, uh, going back to the original question, the industry probably is reaching a tipping point. Um, Indiana Jones is quite interesting in that, you know, RTGI will basically solve a lot of problems for developers during the development process. It will streamline a lot of the, uh, the lighting, certainly. Uh, in terms of the Pro, I do expect there'll be a ray tracing upgrade on there. It just kind of makes sense if they've had to essentially produce the console versions on lower than low settings. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wish that lower than low setting was actually available on the PC version. It just kind of makes sense to me. Um, the VRS situation is actually quite interesting there, Oliver. I hadn't really thought of that. Obviously, um, the base PlayStation 5 does not support um, hardware VRS, which I believe is being used on Xbox. So it won't have that issue, but it might have a lower resolution or something like that. However, the Pro, I believe it does support hardware VRS. So will they not use it because it's not used on the base? Or will they use it um, and... Uh, we're not particularly happy that they are using it. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? That's interesting, actually. Id Tech, I remember Doom Eternal did have VRS on Xbox platforms, but did yeah. not have VRS on the PlayStation 5 version. So perhaps, I mean, there are, obviously there are other ways to implement VRS, but um, hopefully that would be, uh, I would hope it was, a, it's excluded in general from the PlayStation 5 versions of the game. <laughs> Certainly right. from the base PlayStation 5 version, there might be some level of uh, hardware incompatibility, obviously, with hardware VRS that would preclude them from doing that. I think maybe the better route would be to use something like uh, TAAU, maybe something like FSR, lower internal resolution, higher output resolution, no VRS, in my opinion. Maybe that's a better way to go. Maybe they'll embrace something similar in PS5 Pro. Who knows? Maybe at that point, they'll have moved on to another solution on Xbox consoles because I think the results there, especially right. on the Series S, are... Uh, not perfect, but we'll just have to see there. But yeah, hopefully they can achieve something compelling for PS5 Pro users.